Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are in the car, as you can tell, we are driving back, not back, we're driving to Perth. Got the trailer on the back, probably can't see it in there, but I'm gonna pick up a few more things from our house down there. And we're gonna stay at my son's tonight. And we're also, the main reason we're going down is to go and see James's dad. He ended up in hospital. He was really unwell last week. He's on the mend now, but St. James will go down and see him and see how he's going. We're going to pick up our lawnmower. We've got our compost bin. That was my best compost tumbler, but it was way too heavy to lift. So it's been sitting there since February and it's all sort of composted down and it's quite light now. So we're going to bring that back up with us. Yeah, just got some bits and pieces in the shed still and yeah just got a few things to take back to the, get refunded from the shops and I'm gonna do some shopping and that sort of stuff so I'll hit up the spud shed early in the morning um, I'll vlog when I go there anyway so um, yeah we'll see what time we get there see what happens tonight I guess just called in the shop. James got really bad heartburn, so I just grabbed some uh, heartburn things and got some chili noodles for him. Uh, iced coffee. Just got a hot oak. A uh, pop top. Yep. Yeah. Got a six pack of them. They're on special. So and some minties. <laughs> That's about it. But it's so weird now coming back down because when we come up, it was everything was dead. But now, but the weather's getting cooler and we've had some rain, everything's so green. So it's just like, yeah, really beautiful. And it's gonna be, um, not the caravans, um, wildflower season soon, so. But all the tourists, as soon as that border open back up, all the caravans and like, yeah, they're just everywhere. There's two in front of us right now. You don't even better go around them, are you? Gosh, pain in the bum. Okay, we've just got back from doing all the shopping. I didn't vlog. My phone was really, really flat. So I'm just going to show you all my cold stuff and I'm going to do the rest probably tomorrow because we're so tired. Um, but I've got the Esky here full of stuff. So um, we got some butter. I got salted and unsalted. I got two tubs of the Nutellex butter or whatever it is spread and I got two tubs of the one kilo table spread margarine. So we got this chunky family um, pie. It was $6.99 down to $4.89 so that's a the dumb stuff that we we'll grabbed that. Let's chuck that in the freezer. Some chips just straight cut. We got two of those. We got some corn cobs. Got a whole chook for doing the roast with. Some frozen peas. They're still pretty frozen too, so be good. Uh, we've got here, oh, just some fresh chicken wings. We end up getting two packets of those. We'll just be marinating those up for a weekend. I've got a kilo bag of salmon portions. These are skin on ones. They're pretty good value, 25 bucks for those. Some light shredded tasty cheese. Got a couple of the cream cheese bread, just for if you need recipes and stuff, you know. Um, some thickened cream. Got some eggplant dip, some capsicum dip. Couple of one kilo tubs of vanilla yogurt. We got some mints. I ended up getting the four star mints because the other one's just a little bit too fatty for my liking. Got a Greek style feta salads. I got these two um, chicken breasts too that were marked down. So that was pretty cheap. Kilo of tasty cheese. That's my other kilo bag of wings. Some uh, stir fry beef markdown was eight twenty six down to five seventy eight, so that was a good buy. I'll smash some veggies into that, and that'll be a cheap meal. 
a couple of packets of just the Hokkien noodles. The, yeah, we could even do a stir fry with that and that actually, that's a good idea. And I've got a few more mincers here. We've got some of these uh, whole split chooks. They're Californian style barbecue. These are like seven dollars, just over seven bucks each. So two of them feeds our family. So I'm pretty impressed. You know, fifteen bucks for family six for dinner is good. We've got a roast pork. This one is a two point two kilo one. We've got some of these ham ends. My dad bought some of these up the other week for me, but they weren't this kind of ham, so mine wasn't like as nice like my sister was saying hers was beautiful but i actually think that she might have got this hand instead of the one i got another bag of corn on the cob they're not very frozen anymore but then, go in your bed loose got another corn silver side chuck that in the freezer oh, Another block of cheese. We always get two blocks of cheese. I've got some more sliced cheese for the kids. There's another chicken breast there, another mince. And we also grabbed this breakfast bacon. This was from Spud Shed, it was about seven bucks. I bought uh, one of these and cooked it up this morning too at my son's house. Also got another one of these four litre juices from Aldi as well. I generally buy this for my husband but the kids end up drinking it and they really love it so it doesn't really matter who has it. But yeah it's really really good juice. We ended up seeing my dad and his missus and then he rang me back today and said on the way home call pass I've got some oranges for you. So he gave me two bags of oranges and I've got Big bag of lemons from our lemon tree at our house down in Perth. And our oldest boy gave us some chilies as well. So I don't know how hot these are, what sort they are. This week we did the shopping down in Perth. We went to the Spud Shed, Aldi, and I got a few little bits and pieces from Woolworths. Um, I'll start up this end, I think. We'll do the... Um, Aldi, Aldi in first. I'm just thinking. Red plus from the spot shed. That's okay. Um, yeah, so from Aldi this week, we got some of the long life milk again, but instead of just getting one of each, we grabbed two carts because I'm just sick of running out of milk. It just does my head in. So we grabbed, yeah, two of each. So we've got 12 litres of light and 12 litres of the skim. We grabbed the dippets again there for lunches and that, snacks for the kids and hubby. We got a big pack of chips. We got some chopped chip cookies again. This big carton of Coke was from the Spud Shed. Uh, it was about $14, so it was a pretty good buy. Um, what else did we get? Some rice. We got brown rice. Lachlan's been eating this. Uh, Lachlan is my boy. He's got a bit of a... Um, Guessing it's gluten intolerance, so I've been changing his diet a little bit and he's yeah feeling a lot better having brown rice instead of white. So I got both. Um, we got some bin bags just here. I only got one pack of them. Oh no, I didn't. I got two. I'm thinking, and then we get two of everything generally anyway. Uh, crackers, so we got two of the eaten crackers. We got some large resealable 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 bags this is our tire day guys i'm like literally like a zombie at the moment um we got some pasta sauce uh what have we got four eight got eight of those so we just got four the bolognese ones and this is a traditional tomato uh got some oysters for something different grabbed three boxes of the ones in barbecue sauce and three in spring water I'm guessing there's three. I can only see two here, but there will definitely be three. We got some more chopped hazelnut spread. The kids love that stuff. Got a big jar of peanut butter from Aldi as well. Some more jam, just some strawberry. 
Uh, Dead to Sticks one special in Aldi. There's 28 in there and they were like 12 bucks. I always get those for the dogs if, yeah, if they have them in Aldi. And we got some more eucalyptus oil scented uh, antibacterial stuff for the floors. Uh, canola oil, a two litre, one of those. We got some more noodles. Kids love those, especially when the weather's a bit cooler too. So we got two five packs of the beef and two of the chicken uh, we got some beans I just picked up a couple of red kidney beans and four cans of corn this shop because we've already got some beans in the pantry so we didn't need too many fruit and veggies wise we got some apples I ended up getting that one was one I just took to eat in the car that's not one I bought from today um, there was one box in Aldi with one app in the corner. No one else had lifted up the cardboard thing, so I lifted up. There's a whole fresh tray wire underneath. So these are really nice apples. So uh, I'm pretty sure there's about 12 and 12 in the bags. I've got some bananas. I picked up an iceberg of lettuce and I got some zucchinis. There was a small box of zucchinis at the front. The zucchinis have been small, I've noticed, the last few weeks. But once I moved the small box, I found these ones. So I grabbed three of those. And I also grabbed some sliced mushrooms as well from Aldi. Um, my spud shit stuff's kind of blending into here now. So, um, yeah, the mandarins were from the spud shed. We got two one kilo bags of carrots. These were like 69 cents. That was a good price. And they had two... Cauliflowers for four bucks, that was a good deal. Got two of those. Um, I'm actually thinking of making cauliflower rice too. I was thinking of that last time I bought cauliflower, but I only had one, so. Um, and they had some really nice green beans, got some of those. I picked up a rock melon, Lachlan and Jaw, uh, not Lachlan, Jaw and Hutto, really like rock melon. So this one was like $1.70, which was a good, good buy. Um, these were from Aldi, just some uh, muesli bars, we always get those as well. And we've got a couple of packs of the macaroni noodles. I'm actually thinking of making the minestrone soup again too, that was so, so good when I made it last time. Um, these pumpkins we picked up from Aldi, I grabbed one and James is like, just grab two. You can keep them in the pantry anyway. Uh, that. Uh, one I got the other week from the side of the road, I can't open it, it was nowhere near ripe, I was quite annoyed, five bucks down the gurgler, but the chooks and ducks and that, they had a grand old time with it, so that was alright. And these were the oranges that I bought from the spud shed, I bought two bags of them, this was before my dad rang me and said, come and get some oranges, but yeah, cootie weather, so you can never have enough vitamin C. I got some pears from the spud shed. I got some eggs just because, like I said before, I just want something that I can boil basically um, and peel easy. When they're really fresh, they're really hard to peel. And yeah, I've tried all the secrets that you can do and that nothing works. So um, I make a beautiful chicken one box salad. So these were like $1.99. We've picked up two of those. So looking forward to making that sometime this week. This was just the carton of eggs that I bought for the breakfast this morning. There's two left there in that carton. Uh, I bought a cabbage. I bought this for the chalks. This was two bucks. Uh, if you've got chalks, it is a great idea. Get them a whole cabbage. You put a hole through it, whatever you want to put a hole through it with, and put some rope and hang it up, and they absolutely love it. They just peck it, and it just keeps them used for hours and hours. Uh, and the red caps pins, got five of those. These are really nice from the spud shed. I was really quite happy with the quality of these this, this time around. They're normally very, very hit and miss with the caps pins. These were eight ninety nine a kilo, so I said, James, these were probably the thing that were up around normal prices for us. And we picked up this big Jap pumpkin. I don't know if it's even called Jap pumpkin. Even though I say Jap pumpkin anymore, Jared L pumpkin. Um, I'm going to put this in the pantry and I'm going to leave it in there for about a month before I even go near it. And I know it'll be okay and should be good to go. And we've got some tomatoes. I've got a few nice sweet potatoes here. 
Uh, over the back here from Aldi, we got some more cordial. Jones has been, he loves his drinks, my husband. So yeah, he really enjoys having things to choose from. So we got one of the fruit cup and one of the apple and raspberry. Uh, bread, we got 10 loaves. I just got white. I'm over sort of fight with the kids. If they're gonna eat it, then I'd rather them eat it than that coming back in the lunchbox. Said that before. This loaf of bread I grabbed, I was gonna use this for breakfast, but then I ended up using something else. I'll show you that in a minute. So that's okay. I don't mind the old multigrain bread. Uh, we got a couple of packets of marshmallows. Um, we've got school holidays coming up very shortly and um, gonna have one of my little nephews over for a sleepover. So I said to Hutto, we'll do a fire out the back in the fire pit and roast some marshmallows. That should be fun for the kids. And they had seeds um, at the spud shed. Not very many left, I can tell you that. Um, so they were only two bucks. And I got some nasturtiums. I had these at my old house and I looked at them today and they're growing and they're actually flowering. But there's no seeds anywhere on them. So I said to my husband, I stuck it into a pack. So there's 35 seeds in here. It's a mixed one. So it's got like the light yellow, red, orange, Looks like a darker orange, maybe, and then yellow. So, here does it say? Yellows, oranges, and reds with rose, salmon, and cream. Beautiful. Those are really, really good for your garden, guys. Especially if you grow um, vegetables and stuff. Really good to put through your veggie garden, attract little bees, and just get all the right little things going on. And calendula. I don't think I've bought any of them yet. They were only, like I said, they were $2, so it's pretty good buy still. Um, we got some garlic powder and I got some more of this taco seasoning um, in the container as well. We got some baked beans. I just grabbed four of those. My kids love, love baked beans, so I said to Harvey, we'll just do a, like a easy meal one night with just eggs, baked beans and snaggers or something like that. And we got some conditioner. I've got a cupboard full of shampoo with no conditioner. I don't know if that's the same in your house as sham shampoo always gets left hand conditioner always gets used up heaps so i got yeah one for our bathroom one for the kitty's bathroom and i got some more washing liquid i love the aldi oh the aldi washing liquid seriously if you haven't tried it give it a go because it's really good and it did come out number one when they tested all the supermarkets against all the others so it's win-win and I've got the thing of toilet roll. I do have some in my cupboard down my hallway, but I've heard restrictions are going to be kicking back in very shortly, thanks to lovely Victoria. Um, but yeah, I just thought just to be safe, I'm going to get some Kleenex because yeah, that was just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, back down the front here, I got. I've always seen these, but I've never bought one before. It is garlic, it's fresh peeled. It is a product of China. Um, but then, yeah, you know, most stuff you buy is from China anyway. But yeah, it is a kilo and it's already peeled, ready to go. And this was five bucks. So I said to my husband, yeah, I'm definitely getting me some of that. Um, so yeah, between the garlic and the oranges, we're gonna be, yeah, doing really good. And these were from the spud shed. I had to buy these. Look at them. They've got light yellow, orange, and red tomatoes in here. I just thought straight out, oh, seeds. So I'll definitely be taking some seeds from the orange and the yellow one. And keeping those aside for when the weather gets warm again after winter. And I've got a punnet of cherry tomatoes. A couple of broccoli. Only little, but they weren't that expensive, so that was all right. I got another two spring onion. I only got them because they were from the spot shed. They were 99 cents. And I am going to plant them in my garden as soon as, well, probably yeah, tomorrow. It depends what the weather's like, I guess. But I've had some in my garden for ages growing, but they just can't grow quick enough for me when I use them. So I said to hubby, no, I'm gonna get two bunches for that, plant them all in there, and we'll just, yeah, we'll have abundant stock of that just going and going, so it's gonna be great. And we've got some hamburger buns. These are great for making pizzas, cheesies, burgers. Um, I didn't actually get to pick up any cheese, um, chicken burgers or beef burgers. So it will definitely be definitely cheesies or something like that or pizzas, like I said. This was the leftover ones. I made some beautiful egg and bacon rolls for Becky this morning at my son's and his girlfriend's house. So everybody enjoyed them, so that was good. And we bought a few of these crackers. 
Um, those are like two bucks a bag. So these ones are hot and spicy and these ones are just barbecue flavour. We've got a packet of chilli noodles with nuts as well. My husband loves them. We actually bought some down the way to Perth yesterday and yeah, they were so good. Spudshed had the Red Rock chips that my hubby loves. They were $3 a pack so we grabbed two of those. We have mice running around everywhere in the house so I got these uh, throw packs for that. And this is just my Woolworths corner here. So the rat sack was from Woolworths. Uh, I grabbed another one of these Pyrex measuring cups. I love these. I'm so sick of buying measuring things and it just comes off and does my head in. So I can't read it. And my two older boys, their drink bottles just <laughs> died and went to heaven. So I got them one of these drink bottles each. They were uh, seven bucks each on special. I think they were half price, so that was all right. And what else my we husband got? bought this from LD2, it was $25. It is a multi function sharpener, you can sharpen knives, scissors, and everything with it. So, like I say, is my knives better be sharpened? Um, we also got some scripts. So, my husband's in the court for his asthma, that was like 41 bucks. These near from were about 20, and my iron tubs were about 20 bucks as well. And these are just some. Um, Basil seeds, all the basil at my house down there was seeding, so my husband said, let's chop it all off and yeah, we can plant that stuff everywhere, so that'll be beautiful. We'll be able to eat pesto for days. So I got some jelly for the kids, these were all a dollar, so we got two orange, two berry blue, two raspberry, and two strawberry. I've got some of these little Hermes eaters, mini sweeteners for myself for my hot drinks. Scarlet wanted some. Shaders for her hairy legs. <laughs> I got some light jelly for myself. I got two packs of strawberry and one of the vanilla berry. I thought that sounded nice. And I also grabbed two bottles of the olive oil. I always grab a couple of them when I go to Woolies. It's the only olive oil that I really like. I grabbed one of the boxes of cappuccinos. I didn't have my skin ones that I want, want haunted, but. So I just grabbed the normal ones. Oh, these got 1.6. Um, 1.6 saturated and 53 calories. So that's still good in there. And I love them. And I grabbed a vegetable oil as well because I want to make some zucchini slice again sometime. And that is called for in the recipe. So um, yeah, so that is my huge fortnightly haul this week. Or rather, yeah, this fortnight rather. We spent 172 at uh, Spudshed. We spent 172 in the Spudshed. We spent around 450 in Audi, and I'm not really sure how much I spent in Woolworths. Um, it wasn't too much though. I normally do an online order and pick it up, but I just yeah, I didn't want to do it. I just didn't want to spend too much money. But we end, so I ended up still spending. Four, four, three around six hundred and something. So, not too bad. About the average, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that is my shopping haul again. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And thanks for stopping by my channel. And I will see you in my next vlog. Have a good weekend. Bye.